Welcome to the Locked Up RC Monday Night Live stream. I am your host, Patrick Norton. Tonight we have part three of our Axial SCX-10 3. We're going to go a little off book tonight, but I think you'll like it. Hope you'll stick around. So tonight... I decided to, I guess, what, quit following the instructions. What is this? Oh, no. Look at this. Facebook giving me a new option to do something. Not set, follower, slow, discussion. What is this? They change stuff on me every week. Let's see. Only your followers will be able to leave comments. We don't want that. Slow commenters will only be able to leave a comment. What? I don't care. I don't need any. What? Restricted. That's what we'll do. Okay, there we go. Am I going to have to do that every time? I don't really want to have to do that every time. Blah. There. What do you guys think of that? Ah, things. <clears throat> Tonight we're going a little, we're, we're not going a little off, off book, I guess is, is what you could say, or I'm not really following the instructions tonight. And it's not that I'm not following the instructions. It's just that I've kind of skipped ahead a bit. The next phase of what we're going to actually get into with the build is adding the battery tray, it looks like, some servos that I don't have. And if you've been watching the build, you already know that when I got to the steering servo and motor, I kind of balked because I didn't have anything picked out. But at this point, I do. I've decided to go with, <clears throat> well, really some budget-friendly options uh, because, again, the kind of theme behind this truck is hey you're a guy that went to the hobby shop and you bought this and that's why i'm doing this build so i'm going with an axial motor uh it's a 55 turn trail breaker i know that's going to be really really slow but this is a two-speed truck and for a crawler i really like to have the ridiculous granny gear if you will for a servo i'm just going with the savox 1230 sg so we will put those in later i actually have to order uh, hey guys, um, Josh and oh, it's this Josh. I moved one of the lights so I have some weird glare. You guys know I change something every week. Anyway, <clears throat> so about those instructions and about those servos. Hey Ben, welcome. About the instructions and the servos that I don't have. Since I don't have the servos, I don't really feel like there's a whole lot of good to me getting into this. I thought about doing the motor and the steering servo, but you know what? I'm going to order the servos. I'll have them hopefully within two weeks. And, and there's a reason I say hopefully two weeks. And that's because we're actually closed next week. I won't be here. We won't have a show. So for tonight, I'm basically just warping ahead in the instructions. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bust the budget, right? So instead of this being the, the budget friendly guy build now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mount up some wheels tonight. So if you were tuning in hoping to see more SCX 10-3 actual construction there's not going to be a whole lot of that tonight for multiple reasons um one i need to get these assembled anyway two i don't have the servos that i need and three tomorrow morning i get to go fight with the tax assessor so my brain is full of all these things that i have to go deal with because they're trying to try to jack up my rent i mean you know they don't care that there's a, a global pandemic and looting and and riding they just want they just want their money i don't want to give it to them because whatever i don't know hope everybody's doing well let me see let me let me try to get these comments so i don't really want this thing that says this all the time is that going to go away as you guys make comments i guess so we'll see <clears throat> i found out with facebook i guess uh two weeks ago or before that it seemed like it was uh moving the comments up for me which i liked I was hoping that's what this comment moderation thing was going to be, but it doesn't seem to be. That's, that's irritating. So now it just says restricted. Maybe now anyone that tunes in will see over here this restricted thing, and they will think that they're watching something naughty. So fuck them if they can't take a joke. Now it's naughty. <clears throat> anyway, that's enough of my silliness. Whatever you guys are up to tonight, let me know. I didn't have a show last week because I was not prepared. Um that happens sometimes you know sometimes we're in the middle of doing things especially on a monday busy after the weekend and before i know it i've got live stream and and i enjoy doing this but 
I don't want to have a show if I'm completely unprepared. You know, you guys would tune in and be all disappointed and everything. Really need to <clears throat> make I make small changes every week. Try to try to make things better. Anyway, I will zoom in a little bit. Is this light on correctly? Yes. I think I already showed you guys these a long time ago. Uh, again, these were splash anodized by Travis Bateman at Bateman Custom Coatings. I gave him a shout out a couple shows ago. So yes, I did show you guys these. Already. But really, that's all we're going to be doing tonight. Not a whole heck of a lot of craziness is going to happen in this show. We're going to open these tires up and I'm, I'm going to put those tires on. Um, this isn't going to be any sort of serious comp truck. This is really just a for fun for me kind of truck but i'll have some other upgrades um <clears throat> got some knuckles that i'll put on at some point that kind of stuff uh ben we're not gonna have a flash coupon tonight uh but funny story we, we've got a whole lot of what i would call it's not what i would call we got a whole lot of products that i think we're going to be putting out as so these are the the stock wheels that it comes with um, there's nothing really wrong with them I mean they're plasticky chrome that's fine um, it's just it's not my bag so we're gonna just get rid of those if anybody wants those let me know um, we're gonna have a whole lot of unicorn mystery products coming out this week and then the following week we will be on vacation and then the week after that, I think I've got, we've been doing some stuff with finishes and anodizing and things. So there'll be a whole lot of goodies, I think, for you guys to pick from in the coming weeks. Let's see. There's not three millimeter scale hardware in black oxide. Why? Well, darn. We just didn't make any when we first started doing the scale hardware, but... And, and speaking of new releases, let's take those two comments and combine them. We've actually got some M3 black oxide scale hardware. I don't know when it's going to come out. <clears throat> Soon. Um, we're going to be releasing a size or two here and there. Uh, because basically what we do is when we make the stuff, we make it in huge batches. Huge, huge, giant batches. And then it goes to plating, finishing. <clears throat> so as we run out, I think we had recently run out of like M3 by six. So we had a whole bunch of the MCZ stuff done. And when we had that done, we had the black done. And then we ran out of M3 by eight and blah, blah, blah. So as we're running out of things and we replenish them, that's, that's as how the black will come out. I hope, I hope that makes sense. Darwin. Uh, let's see tires. Hey, no, I'm just kidding. See you. You'd think I was actually sniffing things, but I'm not. I've got a lot of, um, yes, those will be ready soon as well, Ben. Uh, <clears throat> take that back. Those are ready. I need to post pictures of them. They are packed. Jackie got them all. They're all, they're all in there. They're all ready to go. <clears throat> I need to get off my keister. I also need to get internal rings for these. Let's see if I have, do I have any up here? Oh God. Son of a bitch. Let's see. <clears throat> I will be back in, let's say 30 seconds. <whistles> Did I say 30 seconds? I meant 60. <clears throat> so these wheels are internals and you know, normally I have a mess of stuff back there on my desk. I ran into Jackie's office trying to find some of the internal rings and couldn't. I don't know where she put them. She's not here. So I had to, well, I stole some from some of our other wheels that she, she just packed up. So I'm sure she'll be thrilled when I tell her, yeah, I just packed this. I will do it. That way she doesn't have to repeat her work because nobody likes that, you know. You do something, your boss comes in behind you, tears everything up, and then just throws it on your desk and says, fix it. I'm not I'm not that much of a jerk. I mean, I'm I'm up there, but 
Not that far away. Come on. Anyway. <clears throat> these are some of our... Oh, God. These are so bright. These are some of our bright diffusers. Uh, Diffuser Plus. For those of you that have not seen those. They're shiny. Every time I see one of these and they're so shiny, they, they make me think of... Uh, Terrible Wolverine movie. Origins, I think it was. He gets his adamantium claws and then, you know, busts them out and, uh, crap, what's his name? I can't remember. The other guy. Shiny. Anyway, moving on. Uh, okay. Sorry for those of you that I lost during that little break. <clears throat> I am frequently not prepared as completely as I should be. Now, obviously, the internals are not anodized because no one's going to see them. Well, I mean, you guys are going to see them right now, but that's that's about it for that. So, I don't really think this is going to be a super long show, but perhaps a good opportunity for those of you with potential questions about, I don't know, whatever, to just knock it out. Hit me up. Let me know what's going on. I'll... Well, I don't really want to do that. Let's, sorry, I've got, man, I got a big mess over here. I'm gonna want to make use of one of these diffusers. Uh, <clears throat> generally, when I'm assembling wheels, I like to use another wheel, set it up on there, and then I can press down on it. I find that helps get everything compressed. And I will tell you that these tires or, or the foams, really. Um, how would I classify these? They're pretty soft. They're not. They're not obviously not a memory foam. I don't expect them to last long. They're not. They're not nice. <clears throat> they're. Uh, they will get the job done and be adequate for this. Tell Sean to get out with us this weekend, Austin. I have no control over what Sean does. I can't barely control what my gosh he's 11 now i can't really control what my 11 year old does let alone how old is sean i don't know so anyway <clears throat> that's that's where i am oh did i just i did oh, curses. damn you tire is it this is a thicker Whatever you want to call it. Whatchamacallit? You guys ever had one of those? Man, this is a... <clears throat> this is kind of a thick foam. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to help myself out a little bit. I'm going to install some of the screws into the ring first. Uh, that will actually help me get everything... Where's my scale? There we go. That'll help me get the ring lined up to go into the wheel center section of course i could could do that on camera if i wanted to be nice but you know no one ever accused me of being nice i guess except for maybe my wife i am nice to her not the kids i beat them severely no yeah, i forgot uh one thing i will mention when you get splash anodizing done depending upon who does it and all of that stuff. Sometimes there's a little bit of mask that will be retained in or on the piece. Uh, in this case, Travis used some orange stuff, so it will stand out for sure. And if we come across it, I will have to peel it off. Not too big a deal though. Not really anything to get uh, excited about, but in terms of the, the masking. But I, I, I do like the way that these came out. These have actually led me down a path of creativity. When I, when I got all these things back, they really started my creative juices flowing on some, some other things. You know, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see what happens. Oh, 
Ooh, that one. Yeah, that had a little had a little bit of masking in there. I can, I can feel it. It's just rubbery. It's probably not going to hurt anything, but <clears throat> for the wheels, I will definitely want to make sure that I don't have any down in the holes. Because I can see it being a pain in the butt to get out. Now, obviously, you wouldn't have that issue with a single a singularly singular color yeah a single color and a dice job oh yeah oh that's great i love that dell has just now decided to pop up some support assist window that's that's what i want during a live stream run some diagnostics dell what i, I didn't tell it to do that hopefully the stream stays up i don't think you guys saw the window <sighs> computers why is it so difficult for me to, in real time, broadcast something of such great importance across the globe? I don't understand. This should be easy, right? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I am curious to see how much fun it's going to be to... To get these foams and you know i did not look at the bead on these tires although i have always been able to successfully mount our wheels with really any tire some of them are a little bit more irritating frustrating or whatever you want to call it than others and it's it's because of the shape of the bead that is one of the things about rc four-wheel drive where i feel like they actually knocked it out the park they have a very square bead and they just drop into our wheels like they were made for them which works for me i didn't really tighten these and before anyone asks i don't i don't lock tight things but if I was going to Loctite something on the wheels, it would be these screws. Because these are the fake screws. I mean, they're real screws. They exist in our plane of reality. <clears throat> but they don't do anything other than just look nice. Okay, so, <clears throat> man, my voice is <clears throat> a little, little crunchy tonight. So as you can see, I have the, what is that, 18 screws installed. <clears throat> I have nothing installed in the wheel. <clears throat> man, if you don't know how our wheels work, <clears throat> For the internals, obviously there is an internal ring that you're going to sandwich in there that will clamp down both sides of the bead. The faux screws, which is what we, what we call them, slide into holes that are drilled out, if I lined it up correctly. It's actually hard to, to, to see that from the side. Uh, so that when you are assembling the wheel, you really only are messing with six screws if you need to change foams, add weight, you know, take the foams out to squeeze out all that water that you've been running in, all that creaky goodness. I mean, like, creek water, not, yeah, whatever. So, <clears throat> having said that, though, you can see, maybe you can't see, I know how to get you to see. We're going to take this out just to, as a display. You can see that the foam is much thicker than the inner. So it does make for, oh yeah, let's, let's check out the bead on these things too. So I would actually say the bead on this is, is pretty square. Um, it's definitely not like a Traxxas or Proline bead. Uh, of course, the only really good way to, to see it would be to cut it and show you a profile but having said that i think mounting these tires won't be a problem and that's you know, that's one of the questions we get asked 
do your wheels work with ProLine tires? Do your wheels work with Traxxas tires? Well, yeah, they'll work with any tires. The problem sometimes is the foams. If you look at how thick some of the foams are, and if you think about how much you're having to compress this, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it is not. Based on the thickness of this foam, I expect this to be a horrific nightmare. But we'll see. I've been wrong before lots of times. And of course, if you want to retain the squared off look, because, you know, once you start pinching the bead in, it's going to round a little if you're looking at the top of the tread. Uh, if you want to retain more of that squared look and possibly make your life a little easier, you can run a widener. Just a thought, you know, just throwing that out there. Certainly don't have to. Okay. Oops, you. How rude. Let me see. I am going to grab. Eh, maybe I previewed these already. I can't remember. Something that's coming. All in good time. Yeah, so you can see that, like, oh, no, you can't see it because I'm not showing you. That's not very nice of me. Uh, as you push down on the tire, especially if you're pushing down on the outside, the, the bead kind of uh, goes from this to this, and it makes it a challenge to get it all assembled. Oh, I was close. So close. Okay, there we go. So once you get that in, what I usually recommend to people is to just get a screw started. <clears throat> then jump over to the other side get the other screw started and then just kind of you know go around just like you're in you know putting a, a wheel back on your one-to-one -one. you want to make a crisscross pattern <clears throat> and you don't want to have any one screw doing a crazy amount of work at a given time so try to try to even it out and keep constant pressure all the way around the ring. Now, if you want, if you're the kind of person that tends to Godzilla torque things, you can of course assemble these with regular cap screws first and then individually go back and drop scale hardware in if you're concerned that you're going to damage the scale hardware if you're the kind of guy that has had problems with scale hardware. That is definitely an option. Uh, if you go to, to start assembling this and you just can't even get the screws close, you could probably drop an M2 by 10 in there just to get you a little more length on the screws to get it started. I wouldn't completely finish assembling it, but just to get the ring lined up and try to help you get the bead lined up and all of that, you could start with that. Um, anything past an M2 by 10, if it's not even close to touching when you're compressing it, you probably have too much foam and you're probably going to destroy the hardware and I would not suggest continuing with that. <clears throat> so this is where I have this right now. I don't know if you guys will be able to see down in there, but there's a gap. It's because I haven't tightened everything down yet. Um, I kind of like to loosely do things. And I mean, you can see there is a, a pretty good, well, maybe you can't see. <clears throat> it's uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Oh, we got, we got, we got a spot I missed, so I have to go back and redo that. But this, I would say this is probably, I also need to vent these. Well, that's another thing. That will actually help you assemble it if you vent these slightly. But I did not vent them. No particular reason. I know some people like to vent tires. Uh, I'm actually one of the guys that still tries to vent the wheels. That may not work out in this case. So one, two, three. This is actually really hard to count over for the screws because the splash anodizing is making me lose my place. 
Of course, I forget. The SLW wheels, also a, a team driver tip. SLW wheels, these holes correspond to the screws that you will want to loosen. So if you do need to back something off, that is one way to help you find the correct screw a little more quickly. I, I believe that is true of all of our wheels. I could be wrong. I am wrong all the time. Or you may have an old design where we just didn't do it that way, but everything new should be that way. So I just tried to back the screws off just a little bit because what I'm hoping I'll be able to do is sneak this back in there, but it's not looking that promising if I'm honest. Oh, wait, maybe. Okay, yep, problem solved. So, you know, I mean, on the back side, sometimes you're pressing stuff down, things pop out. Uh, let's see, since I don't have time to vent where are my little scissors? To vent the wheels tonight. <clears throat> Which, by the way, I probably haven't mentioned that because I don't know if I've in assembled a set of these, these internals on here. Uh, for venting options on these internals, uh, this, this is super easy to drill through. You have a nice long section right here. What I normally do is I try to find a spoke and then I'll just drill through on the outside right there. That's if you're a wheel venter. If you're a tire venter, hey, pop some holes. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, there's no rocket science to this. I'm sure different people have different methods that they use. <clears throat> but this is what I do. This is what I do when I vent tires. I'm literally just going to squeeze it and snip a little hole in it. And then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. And, you know, one of the benefits, I guess, of snipping the holes in your tires versus venting the wheels is that as you spin up the tires to speed, water and whatever goo that's in there will come out. For a basher, I actually like that. Um, for my comp trucks, I, I know I'm weird. I actually don't mind that they hold water. Okay, so I have not tightened anything down. This looks like it wants to squeeze out on me again. Oh, I moved, I moved it. I just moved the bubble. Not, I mean, it's not a bubble, whatever. You know what I mean. So I will definitely have to make sure I keep my eye on this back here. Yeah, these are fun. Okay. So let's see. You know, another thing that can actually well, it can either help or it can be a total cluster. It is actually a little bit of soapy water will sometimes help with the internals to get the tire to kind of slip into place. Uh, but yes, it could also cause it to slip out of place. Let's see. I also mark one hole with a paint marker. Sorry. Wait, let me go back a couple of comments. Love the internal bead locks. So easy to mount. No pun intended. Uh, where where did my mouse go? It turned off. Thank you, Sean. Uh, would the wheel widener work with the new Capra SEX 10 three wheels? Yes. So <clears throat> because of the way they're designed, uh, what do I have one of those up here? Let me, let me go grab an internal, uh, whatever, an internal, a widener. <sighs> so when you look at our, our, one of our internal wheels and you look at the widener, right? The widener the, or the wheel actually fits down. 
I was hoping it would like, there you go. Fits down into there. So when you have this on here with a ring, right? And you have that equal spacing on both sides and yeah, it's a small gap because you want to clamp the crap out of it. When you take off the widener, or sorry, when you take the ring off and you put a widener on, it fills the gap on this side, right? But then because the widener is stepped, you've created a gap on that side. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be the easiest mounting you've ever had, and it may be a little bit like wrestling a spaghetti monster, but yes, the wideners will work. Family will, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm going back through comments. Yeah, thank you, Jake, for the, for the comment. Sean, you mark one hole with a paint marker. What do you mean? <clears throat> Enlighten us, please. Woo. Okay, nothing has spit out on the back side, so we're in good shape. <clears throat> Even though I did not lubricate anything. Okay, so that screw is down all the way. So that's a good thing. So let's see, we're gonna go back to this one. Sounds about right. Then we come across to this one. I don't think I'm doing this in, I'm, I'm not doing this in any sort of, uh, oh, I guess you guys can't see. Man, I suck. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not doing this in any exact order, um, but again, I am trying to go like in a, a crisscrossing pattern. Now, of course, I just lost my place because, you know, as my wife would say, I cannot multitask. I can, I just suck at it. I can multitask as long as it's just one thing I'm working on. It's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. This one has not been tightened down in a while. So there you go. I think it's time for, I'm going to make this a short show tonight, by the way, for anyone that was wondering. It is time for the dad joke of the week. I need somebody with a really deep, like jazz DJ kind of voice to do an introduction. For this uh if you have a crazy deep made for radio voice wait who <sighs> i was thinking of somebody the other day if you have a really cr crazy deep jazz whatever intro voice shoot me a message on the website i could use your voice talent to introduce the dad joke of the week i just found out my massage therapist got fired today i guess she rubbed people the wrong way I also need to add the, the rim shot sound effect to this. Will I ever offer 14 millimeter wideners in 2.2? Never. Yeah, actually, I can't remember if I've got. Yes, at some point, I don't have a date. I know those are designed. It's not like it's a complicated design, but I can't remember where those are in the production lineup. I apologize for not knowing that. The Allstate guy, right? Yeah, so, something like that. But it's, uh, who, who am I thinking of? Someone. It's going to come to me, like a name will pop, pop, plop, shoot, whatever. At some point later in the show, I'm just going to be like, Steve Johnson. And then whatever. Nobody cares. Four. <clears throat> oh, not, see, not me. My voice cracks and does all sorts of stuff. Four. 
for for purposes of things and stuff for mounting these onto the truck i have selected our 185 slw hubs yeah and for the for the hardware where's my scissors so these are actually a limited edition but they are in the store i would i don't these are like they're like a, a more subdued compared to the super blingy chromey stuff which i don't know if i have any of them up here um i'll have to make do with something that's i'm gonna i'm gonna show this to you guys and you're like not even gonna be able to see a difference on camera but uh compared to the super blingy chromey stuff yeah you, you really can't tell you just have to take my word for it that these these things are less bling tastic than our normal 440 quarter inch chrome acorns man it has gotten hard for me to describe products because there's a lot going on you know i actually wish i had gotten the black ones of these because i think that would go better oh. well you know it seems like every now and then when i do this show i have to use the be right back message and anytime i have to use it I have to use it at least twice. It's like the mailman. For those of you that did not get that, that was a joke. Uh, I like the flange style too, Jake. Uh, the only catch with the flange style is that I don't have them in this subdued finish. That is actually something, well, I don't think we're going to get them in this subdued finish. I feel like I've, again, that's, you know, we add colors and we work on things. Hope is all I need. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Oh, Morgan Freeman. I feel like I probably can't afford to pay Morgan Freeman to do a voiceover for, you know, a, a whatever, a two minute skit for a RC car live stream on Facebook. I don't know what Morgan Freeman costs per minute. But I'm almost guaranteed to not be able to afford his pricing. Uh, so the reason that I went with the, well, I guess I should explain where I went. I went to get black SLW hubs, hex hubs, whatever. Uh, I, I grabbed our black 185s. I just feel like they go a little bit better with the rest of the wheel. I guess I could have had Travis uh, anodize some of those too, but you know, that might be a bit much. I don't know. I think it's fine. I think I prefer this tool. I don't know why. It's it's funny. So you know, we we sell the and this one this was actually a, a prototype that I've been using. That's a softer material than the one that we we sell. These three millimeter drivers. I've had this narrow wall one forever. I still use it. We stopped selling them because people were breaking them. Um, but I've, I've never had a problem. Of course, now that I've said that, let me break this right now. On, I almost said live television. This isn't television. This is Facebook. Anyway, whatever I was saying before, what I, what I meant to say, Jake, was that we are constantly working on new colors finishes all of that stuff it just takes time to get things to market you know whenever, whenever i say something like that i get all this technical jargon in my head gee you know i actually could have used i don't know what do you guys think should i keep these subdued silver on there or should i should I use the be right back a third time and go get some black ones? I don't know. I kind of like it. We'll see. I mean, we'll have a hub in there. Very. It's a blingtastic hub. Flange style is my go-to. Still waiting for the 2.5 millimeter version. Right. Yes. It's on, it's on the list. So we have successfully mounted. I, I always do this with things that, that we make. I squish them when it's suspension. I squish the truck. So, you know, obviously hard to tell what this is going to look like on the truck, but I, I am a fan. I think these look pretty cool. 
I guess I could bounce a little more light off of it for you guys to see <clears throat> or change the cup. You know, the lighting in here is a little bit, eh, it's not too bad. I don't know. My face is kind of red looking tonight. Whatever. I was out in the sun. Will the iconic and SLW be back soon? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know. Um, we've been going in and out of so many different things. It is hard to tell. Oh, I know what I was talking about earlier. The the Unicorn Mysteries. I have so many products that we're going to be putting up as Unicorn Mysteries. You guys stay tuned this week. And not next week because I'll be out of town. But the week after that, we're going to vomit some stuff out there. Uh, some of it's really cool. Special finishes, anodizing, all that stuff. Keep, keep yourself, I guess subscribe to that product you can go to the product page for the mr unicorn when we're out of it and sign up for notifications but i would really just kind of check throughout the day if you really want something um i'm just saying you can wait for black cardboard um okay oh you want me to go get the, the black ones do i have any in here i make my life so much easier i bet i don't but you know what? I mean, it's, like I said, short show tonight. I don't have a whole lot going on. I'm not going to assemble all four wheels. Because I don't have a truck to put them on. I just wanted to show you guys these. I will go get some black stuff. I'll be right back. We'll put black on as well so you guys can see the difference. Of course, you know, if I wanted to really be crazy, I could try to mix and match the black with the... No, no, uh, that, that might that might make my brain explode trying to to see what I'm looking at. Black acorn wheel studs, as you requested. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> For those of you that are older and watched Sesame Street as a kid, and you remember that counting song that had lyrics by like the Pointer Sisters or something. They had like the little pinball game or whatever. Does anybody else remember that? If you remember that, let me know. I was, my wife and I were at the dinner table the other night talking to our kids. And one of them started counting and my wife and I both just broke into that song. And they looked at us like we were on fire. It was glorious. I mean, there weren't any visitors over. And yet somehow we managed to, I'm, I'm doing this off camera. Somehow we managed to just embarrass them at the dinner table. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to try to find, if I can find a link to that, I will post it in the comments so that the rest of you can bask in the glory of whatever that song was called. The counting song or something. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually glad that we went and got the black. I think I like the black better on this application. I mean, because we've got the black screws on the outside. It's like, what do you call it? You guys ever see Boomerang? Eddie Murphy movie? He had uh, his buddy's dad who had the, the mushroom shirt and the... The lining of his jacket was the mushroom pattern and his belt and I don't know what else with the socks. Yeah, that's what this is like. You get to coordinate. That's what he said. This is a, a coordinated attack. Gee, you know, this actually would look really I I like the blue in here. I wish there was a little more black on the wheel. In the center, especially. I'm looking at all the wheels, you know. So, I mean, you know, hey, the cool thing about splash anodizing is that everything's kind of crazy and mixed up. But, you know, you, you look at this ring and there's not all that much black on it. And then you look at this one and there is. Um, which is what I like about splash anodizing. The crazy, the crazy, crazy. The crazy, crazy. I don't even know what I'm saying. I had talked about having some masking in some of the holes earlier. I forgot to check the wheel. I don't know if you guys can see it up in this hole right here. There's a little bit in there. So 
again it's it's like rubbery so it's not like you're gonna destroy anything but if you do happen to get your wheels splash anodized and you do look in them and see masking it probably is best to remove as much of it as you can because you don't need to put any more stress on things what scale hardware to replace 2.6 by 6 screws for mounting panels on a bomber? The closest thing that we would have is going to be a 2.5 by 5 or 2.5 by 7. I, I don't know. I would probably err on the side of 2.5 by 5 because if you go too long, you might bust through something. And that's, that is never a fun experience. So what do you guys think? I guess I, I didn't I didn't show the reveal. So there you go. Wheel. Black hardware. I like. I like it. This is not gonna be a flashy truck, which is why I initially picked that subdued silver. I don't remember even um, what we called them. Does anybody else? <laughs> I think I got hit in the head a lot this weekend. I don't know what's going on. But yeah. I do like the anodizing job as well. So there we go. So I will have to continue this, but I'm not gonna necessarily do that here. That is pretty much, let's see, what else? Is there anything else we need to talk about? You guys have any other questions or anything like that? Hit me up now, because we're nearing that part of the show. We're nearing that part of the show where I'm about to say, see ya, no, uh, you know, the big picture, I guess, this is what we got done. Obviously, it wouldn't really take you 50 minutes to do this if you had all of the parts in front of you and weren't running out to get things and dealing with computer issues and Facebook comments and, you know. not you know, it's not the Facebook comments. It's the, the change in settings that they do to me every week and make me crazy. I don't know why they do that. Now, I see now my comments. Where am I? Let's see, this side. Now, this over here, I, I see that this is popping up. Comment is locked up RC. I need to I need to work on this. <clears throat> no time like the present. Let's see. What do we got? While I'm here talking to you guys, I'm going to modify some stuff that will probably make everything explode right in front of you. Now let's see. <clears throat> I think oh yeah, this may actually be a cataclysmic mistake to even touch this, but we'll see. Can I get is that gonna nope that's gonna go that's see that's gonna show me the clock i don't want that we may be stuck with that i guess maybe i could make the comments bigger oh the software that we use is called obs so if i say oh obs you guys will now know what i'm talking about let me see size hmm can i increase the size oh that's gonna that's probably gonna make it all weird looking i don't want to do that i'll just leave it the way it is Oh, now I turned them off. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I like to break things. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching tonight. <clears throat> A little off script, I guess, in terms of not following the instructions tonight, but that's fine. Uh, we will be back in two weeks. What is that? I don't know. The 11th, something like that. 12th, somewhere around there. And when we come back, I should have all of our servos for the the dig the two speed um, so that we can get those installed and we should be able to put the steering servo and the motor and the speed control and go through the <clears throat> all of the electronics and see see how that's all going to work out i hope you guys enjoyed the show and i'll see you in two weeks thanks for watching If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. Not sure if you want to subscribe yet? Check out one of these videos. Thank you for watching.